The path is paved for LeBron James to join the Los Angeles Lakers, assuming the Cavs aren't able to make another comeback this year and the Warriors keep on dominating. Just as LeBron left the Miami Heat when they began to get a little old, there's no reason to think he won't do the same thing to the Cavaliers, who are even older. Now, LeBron has one year left on his contract in Cleveland, so he'll be there next season. But think about this scenario in the 2018 offseason. The Lakers draft Lonzo Ball and continue to develop Ingram and some of their younger guys. Paul George then takes a max deal and signs with the Lakers in 2018, as many expect he will. Then LeBron has all the incentive to leave an ancient Cavs team, which may or may not have been dethroned in the East by Boston, and take a team-friendly deal to join the much younger, passer-friendly Lakers with Paul George. Just as Tom Brady does in New England, there's no reason to think LeBron wouldn't want to take less money to win championships. Hell, he'd probably make it up on the back end playing in LA late in his career. Then you would have a lineup with Lonzo Ball's passing, LeBron and Paul George's dominance, and a more experienced Brandon Ingram and Julius Randle. Under this scenario, my guess is the Lakers would trade D'Angelo Russell and Jordan Clarkson to clear up cap space and bring in a real shooter or a big man that could create unfavorable matchups for the Warriors. This isn't a crazy idea. In fact, I think it's probably very likely. LeBron will have spent four years in Cleveland, just like Miami, and given them their championship. And just as Wilt Chamberlain during, did during the back end of his prime, he'll join the Lakers and become a number two option. LeBron's been running out of gas in the fourth quarter of these finals, and we know he doesn't mind deferring to other people. This would be his best chance at ensuring longevity, competing for championships, and staying relevant late in his career. And it would likely set up some amazing Western Conference Finals between the Lakers and Warriors and potentially revitalize the Celtics and Lakers rivalry in the NBA Finals.